Hello my dear church boys and welcome back to yet another episode of St. Robert's Day Game and Dating Podcast and today I'm chatting with a guy who is in his, who is in his late 40s and has around 70 day game lays. And even though he started getting decent results at day game, once his day game became more structured, there was much more to his success than just technique. And today we're going to look at what those things were. I've done a lot of interviews with day gamers, but usually I do them when they have their first day game lays right after coaching, or maybe when they reach the milestone of having 30 day game lays. But these snapshot podcasts show only part of the full story. So I wanted to show guys who want to become really good at day game, how does the whole journey look like? Partially that is because there are a lot of guys who are going out and, you know, they're approaching that their technical game is kind of okay. They're, they're, they're saying the right things, but day game still isn't working for them. And the reason is that, well, around 10 years ago, when London day game model was created, well, we went from a game that used to be kind of be yourself on peacocking and kind of these weird pick up things. And then we went to the other extreme. London day game model is a great thing, but it has become a little bit overly structured, a little bit too rigid. So we went from one extreme to another extreme and both of these extremes don't work. In reality, to get really successful with women, you need a bit more than just technical game. I sat down and I really looked at all the students I've coached and the guys I know from the community and I was thinking, what are the differences between guys who do good and the guys who do bad? And I came up with five pillars of day game, five things you have to make sure you've taken care of if you want to get really good with women. And out of those five, the first one is making sure your looks are okay. That doesn't mean you have to be a good looking guy by nature, but it just means fixing your style, fixing your grooming, as those things make day game much easier. The next step is learning structured game then once you are pretty okay in structure, you know how to open stack and you know some storytelling, so you're probably starting to get late here. To really get to the next level, you have to drop, drop part of the structure. You have to learn to improvise on all topics on whatever happens in a set. And you could call this natural game, which is part of it, part of the things you have to learn. Next, you have to live a happy life. If you're extremely negative, it is going to affect how women perceive you and your day game results will suffer. And the last thing is location. If you're looking, if you're day gaming in a place that's just shitty for day game or maybe too hard for you, it's going to be hard. So today we're going to look at how this day gamer went from starting to where he's right now by taking care of all of these five pillars of day game. Before we jump into this conversation, a few updates about coaching spots and things like that. On the day this podcast is published, I'm already heading back to Europe because the day game season is starting. I already have several bookings for the May. So I'm going to be in Europe for the summer until late October. If you want to learn day game with me in Europe, then well, you'll find all the details about how coaching usually works in the description of this podcast episode. All the coaching spots in May are already booked. There are two coaching spots left in June, and then the rest of the summer is pretty free so far. But what's important, I'm not announcing any locations or anything like that in uh, advance because I don't do group boot camps. I usually hop on a call with everyone who's interested in getting coaching. We get to know each other. We need to understand what location would be best given your background, given where you are in your day game right now. Some guys need an easier city. Some need a harder one, etc. So you'll find all the details in the description. And after the summer season is over in Europe, I'm heading back to Argentina in late October where I will have two coaching spots. One of those is already booked, so one more is available. If you are interested in learning day game with me in my favorite city in Latin America, then again, click the link in the description to find out all the details. But if you're going out and you're getting some numbers, but you want to improve your texting, so more of those numbers 
numbers would turn into dates, then check out my free texting guide on daygamecourses.com. And if you are already getting some dates, but you want to improve what you're doing on dates, so more of those dates would end up at your place, check out my free dating guide again on daygamecourses.com. And if you want to join our community with the best day gamers I know where we're doing regular coaching calls, in-depth content, day game infields, and other things, again, you'll find more information about that in the description. And now let's jump into this interview, which is audio only as usual when I have guests on to preserve the privacy of my guests. And here we are with Pavlito. So uh, let's let's start with giving you guys a little refresher. Let's assume they have not heard our previous episodes. So maybe uh, give them uh, like a short version of who you are, where in the world you're located, kind of the, the basics of of the of the oh, basics of Pavlito, basically. Mm -hmm. So I am right right now. So hello everybody. Um, I always had a, a passion about the pickup, you know, getting girl, um, dating other girls. And I was kind of surfing the internet a bit, checking some videos from here and there, reading a book here and there. But uh, at the surface level, I never really um, got coaching. So I got some results here and there, night game. Uh, sometimes I would meet some girl on, on a bus or something and get get the phone number and try to go from there but it was a lot of trial and error um, and it took me a few years basically being married being a father going through a divorce um, having a bunch of girlfriends dating a bunch of girls uh, becoming a dance teacher on the way um, I was living in Ireland at the time uh, when I realized, you know, that there was, there was more and I, I was looking into some of my natural friends and, uh, the way they were converting girls into their bed and the fact that the girls say, you know, I never did this with anyone. And, uh, he was going and having girls on rotation and I was trying to do the same. And that was going through, um, some pain, you know, as well, because the way when you're giving all this power, but you don't really know how to use it, it, it can be dangerous and dangerous for yourself as well. So after a certain breakup, uh, I realized, look, it's time for me to go and maximize out my results and, and hire some kind of coaching. So before I met Robert, I joined an online course uh, during COVID times. Uh, I went to a growth house in uh, Montpellier. I worked with some uh, great dudes and, uh, and I started to you know, to learning the basics of um, London uh, front stop um, and showing your intent uh, that got um, two lays. And then uh, I thought it was time to really um, get to the next level, um, understand how I would be able to create attraction because I was still doing a lot of trial and error, maybe, you know, being a bit of a natural. And that's when I found Robert. Um, structured day game robert uh, st robert's church and uh, i was happy to join the church and uh, i was looking for, for for coaching so i think i was at the right place at the right time when i met robert and um we arranged the coaching call whatever that calls uh 101 and suddenly um, a few months later we were having um coach with Robert in uh, Porto, because I'm actually from Portugal. So that's where I'm based right now, uh, in the capital of Portugal. Uh, so we, we had the coaching and I did manage to learn one thing or two with Robert. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and suddenly I was converting girls into my bed and uh, waking up poor Robert. But uh, <laughs> but I think you forgive me now, and uh, here we are. So basically, uh, long story short, yeah, um, a lot of trial and error, um, and then once I really start taking action, the results uh, started to show up. Um, however, in that journey, you do have ups and downs. Things will happen along the way. You'll get into many relationships. You'll get lazy. You'll get fat. You will uh, you will get your ego get in the way, 
Um, but most important is you learn how to have fun. Uh, you learn how to maximize the max out of yourself and having fun uh, along the way. So, so that's kind of the journey, how you have you started and then uh, how we how we got coaching and then you started and then you really started getting laid and and uh, uh give guys a short version uh, where are you now in terms of day game so currently i'm single so i was i was just after um, a relationship recently um which was great a three-month relation an exclusive relation by the way <laughs> uh, and it was a lot of fun. Um, so before that, um, I met a lot of amazing women in my life. Um, I have a number that I'm not going to say, but it, it's it's a big number. Uh, it's a little under 100, let's put it like that. No, it's... I think it's not all about the numbers. It's it's more about it's not it's not. But guys like to that's where the guys get the inspiration because so, uh, there is a difference between listening to someone who has ten day game lays and listening to someone who has a lot. And and it's actually very important to understand for guys who are looking for a relationship as well. But I'll talk about that on a different podcast episode because there are guys who are. Like the guys who are looking for a relationship, uh, some are looking just for a regular relationship, whereas others say, you know, I want an open relationship, or maybe I want a relationship that's open on one side, but but they have very little day game experience. Maybe like, you know, they've been going out for a few years and they have only a few lays. And a guy like that has to kind of manage his expectations because unless he gets to a level where you are, it's just he has to get lucky and that's it but it's a relationship like that doesn't come like it it, it has to it, it you you need to have extreme abundance to 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 find something like that because uh you know you're going to get a lot of no's and and you're going to have to find that yes it's just like you know if someone thinks that they're going to do 50 approaches and get 10 lays like it doesn't work like that you know in the beginning you're going to do maybe 100 and get one and then you get better and so you get a lot of no's and then when looking for a relationship to find what you're looking for like unless you're looking for you know just the average girl standard relationship like that's perfect you can do that super fast like straight after learning day game get a few lays start a relationship that's super cool but if guys want something more kind of specific, then they have to understand that it actually takes way, way, way more kind of work uh, and abundance than they realize. So th- that's the only reason I like talking about numbers in these podcast episodes, because they have to understand that it's not about just learning to, to get like some girls home from day game and that's it. Not that, you know, n- numbers are end all be all like, but, but, but uh, they do give a like a... It's not the, like numbers don't give you. If guys look at numbers uh, in in a, in a, in a, like a way where they're bragging, then that's that's not what we're doing here. That's not what this is all about. But but you know, it's sort of to say when you're list, when you're looking for a business coach or a mentor, you probably prefer someone who has made shitload of money doing something similar than what you're about to do instead of someone who has made money only from coaching you know <laughs> of course of course so that's kind of how how why why i talk about these things not to brag or or say that that's mm-hmm. super important how many lays someone has yeah so i have i have around 70 day game lays um so this is full close ones where we, we do get to the end um yeah of of the story uh you know Typically in a, in a beautiful way, um, and obviously, if every different girl, different story, um, and I, I do respect those stories a lot. And for me, um, I mean, right now I'm in a place where I prefer to have less, but that represents something really meaningful for me. Um, so I'm like, I'm valuing my product at the moment, you know, it's it's not so easy to, to, to get me anymore. But uh, yeah, but you don't business. really need to, you, you don't, at, at your level, you don't really need to prove anything to anyone anymore. Like, like you've proven everything you, like you've done everything, like 
it's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, I also, at this moment, I'm in a place where I do value myself um, more as a man and about what I have to offer to 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 a relation. So, so I'm careful about that. But what what I mean is. The, this is a number that also represents a lot of um, uh, near misses, right? When when guys hear about a number, let's say seventy, they they forget, you know, about the other one hundred near misses, or or you know, the other one hundred dates that you went through um, where you didn't get the plus one as well. So which also represents a lot of work in the front end, right? Where, you know, all the approaches, um, all the times that you had to beat your approach society, do it anyway, um, that you did get the number or you didn't get the number, that she texts back or she didn't text back, that she flaked or not, right? So you go through a lot of different iterations, iterations to get to, to a certain number of, of taking place. And also, it's important to understand, Robert, I know this is a day game podcast and stuff, but at one stage, you you do also, um, obviously, going to meet girls through other sources, um, through online, and you ended up having a bit of a funnel. But once you are um, on the dating level, dealing with a girl, a lot of things are, are the same, right? Let's not be... Yeah, of course. Obviously, if a girl is on Tinder... She's probably more likely to to be in the market, right? When you cold approach a girl, a lot of times she's not available, and and, and that's okay. But uh, but a lot of times you can see like two different inputs to a funnel for where you you do get someone's contact and you go from there, right? Which I think it's important to understand that what you're going to learn in day game, um, it's also going to be applicable in other other areas of your life and other sources. Because once you understand the basics of teasing, of uh, flirting, uh, you know, of building attraction, when you learn how to disagree in a funny way and you're able to tell a story that a little bit of a cliffhanger and you start to having an interesting life, right? All these things um, matter um, when you're building attraction to, to, to get to get to the girl right so and i think for me that was one of the most important areas to to learn uh understanding that attraction is not going to happen just because you're a cool guy uh and you're a nice guy obviously you know learn how to build the tension uh learn how to disagree uh learn how to set up your frame and and i think a, a lot of times guys listen to those concepts, but they don't really uh, efficient, you know. So, so I think that's a key area that is sometimes neglected: is guys learn how to tell a story or you know copy paste open, and, and that's fine. But a, not a lot of guys understand why that works, right? And I think yeah, <laughs> once you start understanding those concepts, that's when you. You, you really um, developing the keys to mastery. If that makes sense. Yeah, that's that is actually very very accurate because that's that's one reason why I don't really like if uh, 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 unless like now that now I just stopped creating public content because I I don't see a lot of kind of reason for for public content outside of podcasts when it comes to deeply instructional step by step things. But I used to kind of put out everything I knew in a in a very kind of hey do exactly this and it's gonna work uh, format, and I was giving away I wouldn't say everything that I knew, but but you know like eighty five percent ninety percent like because there are some small de- nuances that are not worth talking about publicly because they're too nuanced, but, but they are very important. And the reason I was never afraid to give away the information is because I knew that the guys will still need help. Because when you look at what's really happening, like most guys, even the ones that understand the theory, like they're still, you know, they're going out, they're getting some dates, some ways here and there, but the overall results are really, really bad. Like on on average, for for one guy that succeeds, I've I've talked about this several times. I I know 
50 to 100 guys that never succeed. And, and, and I realized that, that this is why in the private community, this is why, I, why we started doing the group coaching calls, uh, where, where you are the guy kind of coaching those group coaching calls. And, and we, we started doing that because I realized that even if I give them all the very nuanced information that I was creating in, in the, in the community, like it just, they are not seeing the mistakes they're making and they, the things they are implementing, they are sometimes making mistakes when implementing them. And that is the biggest, I think this is the number one biggest challenge in day game is guys not seeing their own mistakes and implementing things the wrong way. And then when you kind of show them, hey, this is how you actually do it correctly, then it's a big aha moment for them. And oh my God, all of a sudden things start working. But anyways, I want to, what I want to talk about next is I want to kind of, we have these five pillars of day game, kind of the, the topic of, of, of this, uh, of this conversation. So what, what I want to do now is, I want to look at your progression in day game, at your story in day game from where you were in the beginning to where you are right now and maybe where you're heading next. Um, and I want to see which, I want to see how you went through these five pillars. If you maybe, maybe you didn't go through all of them. Yeah. Maybe you went to like three or four of them. We were going to see that, but I want to kind of understand how did you start and, and then make, cause I think you started with natural game a little bit and then turn structure, structured. And then you're, you've done a lot of, you've done uh, quite a bit of work to change your looks. And if I recall correctly, you've done it, uh, you've done it twice because you did it when we started working with you. You worked with Anna, but then you did another, you did it another time when you lost your weight working with, uh, with the fitness coach we have on our, uh, in, in our, uh, Community, et cetera, et cetera. So, so, uh, where do we start? Do we start from natural game? Was that your first approach to day game? Was that how you started? I think it was right or, or no. Yes. I was, I was, um, I mean, I, I did watch a lot of content from, uh, TNL and James Marshall. Um, so, so I, I did, um, I did something i mean i bought also some of this uh, courses but uh you know it was about learning some um, actually techniques right to qualify the girl um a little bit about a, a topic or how to follow up in a conversation um but i think that's very different from from having coach one-to-one -one with someone or private coaching uh, online with someone um, but yeah, I, I suppose I was more into natural game. Um, and then I started learning, you know, at one stage, the, the community was all about also lifestyle, you know, this meditation, um, this um, kind of uh, stretching, um, body workouts, etc. So it was starting to get sometimes a little bit into is that you know you can be almost anything you know like from psychology to meditation to yoga but that's not game okay um so i did i did came a little bit with with that kind of obviously as well mr methods uh, which is a bit of a structured approach but you know i read the book but i was not really you know applying everything and there's a lot of periods where you you know, you try something for a little while and then you try something else for a little while. You know, you're not really just sticking to, to one thing. But uh, yeah, I, I did a bit of natural and a bit of structured, but not London day game model structure um, before. Uh, and then I, I did met you, which I suppose I went um, a lot more into structured um, structured game where you you understand concepts about pre-opener opener stacking you know London day game model topic get the hook point get the bait get the bait attraction traction hook point okay test qualify comfort close strong then um going into the dates one or two dates so that's when i suppose uh, results really started to 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 skyrocket um, I had a bit of natural um, game, I had a bit of structure, but then I really, really went deep uh, in terms of uh, structured game. 
And I also improved my style. So I worked with Anna uh, and I improved my style. So that happened almost at the same time. So I remember I was still having coaching with you and I was having the calls with Anna, the stylist. So that worked really well uh, as I, I really uh, improved my style. And this was just basically haircut, um, choice of clothes, you know, I didn't really lost weight or gain muscle. I, I was still a bit chubby at the time when I was getting um, a burst of, of lace. I think I got something like 12 in, in the first couple of months, which was quite promising for me. Um, and then we went to, to, to Mexico and, and all that, and it was quite a, quite a ride. Um, so I did... Um, started with natural and structured but then i i did improved a lot my my structured game and i improved my grooming that's when i really started to have a lot of good results and then it was about you know finding the location and developing the, the happy life you know if, if that makes sense or more a lifestyle that is a line where, where everything is in a line right so basically what i mean is day game fitness, work, uh, health, you know, they're all starting to align and relations in, in one direction. Um, I think that's when you really start to have uh, a lot more fulfillment from what you're doing. Yeah, that that's when it kind of, and, and when those things align, like, again, then the dating life usually also goes to the next level just because, you know, it, it, when everything is okay in your life and then you're also day gaming, then that just turns this into, th that just becomes magic. So let's, let's break this down a little bit more. So, okay, you started with the natural, then you became structured. Uh, you, you, you kind of, uh, you, you know, we, we did, the, we did the work together and then you, you kept kind of day gaming a lot on your own and with us in Mexico, et cetera, et cetera. But I assume this usually happens to everyone. You, like you developed your own style of game eventually. Like we, we, we've talked about this when I was in in Portugal in in the winter, and you said, "Yeah, you know, like I do my own thing." And then sometimes it, you said you sometimes get a little bit too far away from the model, then you have to come back, and that's normal. Everyone everyone has the same story when when it comes to this. But when did you? And and this is sort of we're coming back to the natural game part because you you started with natural you realize okay this is not what i should be doing right now then you you learn structured game but sooner or later people sort of hit the wall of structured game where okay whether for some people it becomes repetitive for others it just because others it becomes boring or or they find more effective ways to do it or and that's when they store sort of they learned to you could say they learn to improvise a bit more in their own way and they, 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 they develop their own game. So this is, again, we're kind of getting back to natural game. So how did this look for you? Like, what, what was your moment when you said, okay, structure is good, but I need to kind of do my own thing a little bit. And then how, how did that happen and, and what results were you getting from that? Well, it happened because I was having fun um, with, girls doing some spontaneous crazy shit um so i remember there was times where straight after the opener i invite the girl to come with me to this bar and we jump on a scooter ride you know around the city and only when we're kind of riding the scooters like hey wait a second i don't even know your name you know <laughs> and and you know I'm, I'm on a scooter with you so I think that that kind of drill, you know, that that kind of adrenaline of, of being in a city that you really love uh, and enjoy, uh, nice weather, all that excitement comes into play. I start using that into my into my style, to incorporate that into my style. Um, I also, you know, learned that by me having fun um and having that freight or you know that framework i'm i'm gonna have fun and i'm gonna bring you in this journey with me for um what we call this um instant dates right so i i did get a lot of um same day lays from the excitement of of the moment you know of exploring a city 
um, with this girl that moment. Okay, so I suppose in a way I can say that I developed my own style was to learn that building attraction has lots of different dimensions. So there's no limit how you can build attraction with a girl once you do stay with the fundamentals, you know, building tension, uh, push-pull, um, being flirtatious, you know, being cocky, funny, being able to disagree, being able to take the girl in this, in this adventure journey and also, you know, make it man to woman, obviously not just kind of being a free tour kind of thing. But as I, as I moved to, to my city, I started to, to really enjoy the city and to, to enjoy my, my time in the city, um, having fun with, with girls. And I suppose that's where my, my style, uh, really came into play. And the people that have been here in the city and some of today game friends, I think they, they do understand that quite well. Um, also you can't forget that, you know, Lisbon, Portugal is a country, you have a bit of everything, right? So you go to the Algarve, it's a bit of a, a mini Mexico with all the beach parties and, you know, cocktail bars. You know, you have more kind of posh sides, you know, around Cascais. You have like surf towns. You have, you know, the city beaches. You know, you have all the tourists. You have the business districts. It's also a place that, that does give you lots of different options. Uh, you do want something a bit more different. You go to cities like, like Porto. Um, you want to do some beach game. You go to Costa. You go to the Algarve. You know, you can surf. You can go for hikes. I'm not selling it, but what I mean is definitely when when you do master what you have in your city, you you start looping, right? Because then you're having fun. You're going to the gym. You're going to the beach. As you're going to the gym, going to the beach, you know, you meet girls. You go chat up to girls. You convert those into dates. Then they, they hang out around your city, you know, you start pinning this girls on rotation, mini relationships, or you you meet a tourist that, you know, she's from some other country, you you go visit her, she comes visit you, you know, amazing adventures happen. Um, you also do get to know amazing people, which sometimes, you know, gives you business ideas, networking ideas. Uh, so going back to the topic, yeah, I started as natural, became structured and then really improved my grooming and my lifestyle. And, um, and I became a bit more natural, but coming from, you know, a solid, um, structured foundation, how to build attraction, um, how to qualify, how to, um, how to, to make it man to woman. Um, and and then you start incorporating that in your day-to-day -day life. Um, so, yeah, for me, it, it was um, a journey moving through some of these pillars. Sometimes it's not necessarily a A, B, C, D. Um, yeah. It's, it's more kind of a circle. <laughs> but yeah. it does tend to expand and, and to improve. Uh, so yeah, right exactly. now I think I'm also going through a different dimension which is more in terms of the quality of the relations with these girls what you want um you know being honest about if you just want to have a bit of fun or you're looking to something a little bit different uh, and how to go from there right because there's some really amazing amazing women in the world and there's a lot of beautiful women and um, but from this bunch of beautiful women that are attracted to you you still need to know what you want uh, in terms of values in terms of qualities or which kind of defects you you're willing to tolerate and uh how much um you know emotional um emotional massage you will have to do to make to make the the relation work right so which i think it's hard to get because only when you do go through, as you said, abundance, um, you know, you need to learn how to get the girl to learn how to keep the girl. 
And I think a lot of the dating advice, mm -hmm. dating community uh, does not have sometimes the right effort about relations because it comes a lot from a pr approach where, you know, getting the girl and, you know, numbers and next girl and next girl, building attraction, etc. But really, like, hot girl also has all these emotions that she goes through, um, but she will only be able to trust them to, to when she trusts the guy, right? So there's a lot of um, value, in my opinion, to to also deepen your connection with, with women and understand how much you, you're going to learn. And actually, you, you do become, uh, I think, a much better seducer uh, once you, you really start spending time with girls and, and developing uh, healthy relationships with, with girls. Yeah, and I think what's very like this is at right now the conversation we're having. This is this is very good. This is these are the type of conversations I like having. This is how I think about day game actually, because there are levels to day game. You know, just as just as to any hobby, any art, anything, there are levels to it. And when guys start day gaming, they're looking at you know just day game, day game. You know that the, the same day game we were talking about when I was coaching you, the same day game we were talking about just a few years ago. You know, but that's that's just one level of day game. And once you get really good there, I think that's when people develop their own style. That's when they kind of do their own thing. And that's you could say that's yeah, that's like the, another different level. And that when you develop your own style, for you, it's uh, from what you're saying, I understand it is that y your style basically became being part of the city, loving the city, and then being this adventure in Lisbon, basically. Uh, and, and that's 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 kind of how you develop your style. And probably... Or, okay, let's skip. Let's we're gonna touch on that part a bit later. But you develop your own style, and then that lets you have these deeper connections as well. Because because you are at that level, you're moving away from a lot of structured stuff. You are just being you in 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 doing those things that that you discover work very good for you. Not just because, and you're not just doing them because they work. They do, but that's not the reason you do them. You do them because. At least, uh, uh, let me kind of use I, because I, I, maybe your thinking is different, but I did them because, I was doing them because um, I knew I can get laid. <laughs> I, I didn't care about it that much. I cared about enjoying the date, enjoying what I'm doing there, and and like the, the priority becomes having fun and, in, and and enjoying the moment with the girl and at that moment all of a sudden like you just it starts working and you get way deeper connections with them because it's you you become a more genuine person i would even say and again when this happens if you're still thinking and at this lo moment a lot of people still like to talk about numbers and and you know white right layer reports etc a lot of people stop doing it i think in the next level of day game people in general don't like numbers and and bragging and stuff like that because because that kind of stays in the first or second level but at this uh, another thing what happens when you develop your when i develop my style and when i have these deep connections is and i assume this was the same for you you just because you are so much in a moment and you click so deeply with the girl you can start pulling off some really bold moves. <laughs> like you can experiment with with some really weird, crazy ass things. Like I was, I was kind of thinking about this when you were talking. Um, that for me, the style for a while was kind of this: the guy you're gonna experiment with, basically. And and you know, like my Instagram had a lot of you know pictures with with bondage and stuff like that and and even if girls didn't see that most of my pools at one moment were hey let's go back to my place i'm gonna tie you up <laughs> <laughs> and like it worked it just it just it worked yeah and, and but that's because you you develop your own style and you do these kind of crazy you, you develop this deep connection then these things when you say them when someone listens to this and they th and they think oh i'm gonna do that too i'm gonna tell the girls hey let's go back to my place i'm gonna tie you up you know like mm -hmm. if if people start doing this like girls are gonna think they're fucking creeps <laughs> because that is not their natural model that is not that that's not who they are 
So it, it sounds fake. It comes off as weird. Whereas if that's who you are, then, you know, uh, I, I know that uh, I think you said you used to, you have this balcony in your place, right? Or something like that, where you can see the city. Yes. <laughs> and that's, I think that's your bold move. <laughs> Well, too, I mean, uh, some funny stories from, you know, meeting girl in the riverside and then, you know, she liked to come back to mine to check the sunset and have a bottle of wine. And and then the girl says no, but then she wants to go to the toilet and she comes up and, you know, the rest is, is history, as they say. But those stories happen and, and they're true. Um, I suppose, obviously, every guy has this story, you know, of this crazy Sunday same day lay with the 19 year old and i suppose they were saying well the reason is because it's very rare well i don't know how rare it is it does i mean obviously happen to you once you're once you're doing this for a while um you know you know that you can go out in a day like today on a saturday for instance and you know probably open a girl and bring it home the same day it's obviously something amazing right when you think about it and uh, and it's important guys to understand that that's where a lot of the things are going it's it's things actually happen faster uh, and stronger i think than, than before while when we started in 2020 um it was you know that covid period where people were we're missing all the social scenes so it was kind of easy in a way for a girl to to really meet up with you because everything was closed and you know a lot of girls would react very well to the fact that you're cold approaching because there was no other options right so it was a really bold move and i think it was a great time to really start doing proper day game at least for me because i learned a lot and then there was a period where everything went back open right and you could see girls were starting to get bombarded with options of things to do and it was harder to get the girls out right so and then you learn fuck you know how do i get the girls out um how can you put yourself you know you have to be so good you know that they can't say no uh, and this is important because some guys don't understand that they are good you know that as you said you know they're doing a lot of things right but they're not reaching that 15% top range, you know? And a lot of times life is not fair. We used to say life is not fair. And, and, and in day game and seduction is definitely not fair because, you know, a guy that is has that extra 5% cleans up, right? And sometimes you're so close, but you don't understand. You're so close, but you're missing that 5-10%. You know that that really makes you clean up, and um, and I think that's that's a key lesson. You know, is that when you look back, you know, I've been doing day game more seriously f for five years now, and there was obviously there was there was ups and downs, and there was moments where I was not getting the results I wanted, and I had to understand what's going on. You know, did I lost my mojo? You know, is it I'm not happy. Is it I'm stressed in work? Is uh, my health is not good? You know, is it, you know, am I fat? You know, what's wrong with my style? Am I bald? You know, where's my testosterone? Is I'm getting old? You have to, you know, as a man, I'm, I'm 46 now, going into 47. Um, I obviously had ups and downs along the way. <laughs> you know, it's not like, oh, I dialed this and yeah, now, you know, I work four hours a week and, and life is great. No, you know, you go through moments of hustling. Um, you do hit the bottom as well. You know, you, 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 I remember times my lifestyle, and this is to give guys as well a bit of a flip side of, you know, not just the good things, but the pitfalls along the way. I'm sorry if that's not part of the, <laughs> the topic of the podcast, but I think it's important, right? Because a lot of times people only f speak about the, the, the highlights, the highs, and they forget to address the lows. And I think it's important because we learn with them, okay? So I would like to share, if that's okay, that 
there was moments uh, where I think my health was was impacted, uh, you know, either through injury or through the lifestyle, you know, going out on a lot of dates a week. Sometimes your lifestyle can be a bit more degenerative and, you know, you can pay a price, be at work, be with your health, and that kind of kicks back into your dating life as well, okay? So it's really important, uh, guys, to understand, you know, that you, you you really need to be effective about things addressing your lifestyle, okay? And and it's not about faking till you make it. It's not about cutting corners. It's not about dabbling it. You need to be sometimes really black and white, and, and that's where you need to surround yourself with friends and supportive network to make you assess those blind spots. I'll give you, give you an example. Like, you either have style or you don't have style, okay? You either have an archetype or you don't. You either know how to build attraction or you don't. These are pretty much black and white areas, okay? And um, coaches and dating advice, obviously, you know, they, they need to they need to work and, and pay bills, but it's important to, you know, to be assertive uh, and and say, look, dude, you you're not. Doesn't matter what you say, you know. You need to improve your SMV. You need you, know, you need to put some muscle. You know, you need to go to the gym. Really work out those muscles three times a week. You know, no splits. You know, full body workouts. Really make those muscles work. You know, you need to watch out your cigarettes or your alcohol consumption. You know, you need to go for hikes. You need to build um, an interesting life, you know, where you meet friends, where you cook nice meals, where you, you have a bit of a hobby, you have a bit of a workout. It, it You cannot fake this, right? You cannot be at home smoking two packs of cigarettes and having a six pack of beer, right? And then next morning expect you're going to be, you know, just approaching a girl and give her a great time okay that doesn't work guys i'm sorry um it doesn't matter how good the coach is you do need to put action and discipline um to to improve yourself as a man yep this is this is exactly why i'm doing these podcast episodes because sometimes like i i see guys that well, there are like a few things that we can talk about here. Number one is I see guys that, that are technically doing everything right. And like, it still doesn't work. Like it's just, they're just running around like robots telling each girl she looks Italian. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I just I saw you delivering. Yeah. 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 yeah it's, exactly. It's like that line is, is, is the line that every girl listens to you know like, yeah every, everyone has heard it like and and like guys become way too robotic you know they're like they become too structured and that's when i think okay like, like that's why i want to talk wanted to talk about they, they hey this is like if you're structured and it still doesn't work well first of all most likely your structure is still wrong and that's a that's a whole different topic yeah but but uh, they think they're structured, but they're not seeing their mistakes. So that's one thing. But but sometimes you you do need more, and then you need to kind of figure out. Okay, you need to start to improvise, and, and you need to do like a bunch of you know. You need to really start looking at other things. This is why I gonna I I like London Day Game model. I I like how how it's taught and 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 how structured it is and. I, I did, I used to explain it in a very structured way, but I'm, st I'm still a structured coach, but I don't give them copy paste lines anymore. Like I, that's why I like the, I, 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 I coined the, the kind of the, the, the name, the structured natural approach for a different reason, but now I use it completely differently. Now I use it. Yes. You're going to learn, you're going to learn structured game. But it's gonna be built around your real personality, who you are as a person, and the lines you use are gonna make sense to you instead of just being the copy, dumb copy paste shit that everyone else is using. You know, you're you're being structured, but you're also being yourself. You're not just you know reciting the same shit that that everyone else is saying and hearing and telling the girls they all look Italian. You know, that's just that's just stupid. I I I I, I think, and uh, 
one, one thing I very agree with you, you said that you have to kind of think about, okay, how healthy your lifestyle is because day game does come with uh, some degenerate uh, tendencies. Uh, you know, it, it, it usually comes as a package deal when you start out. Uh, and if you are in your like late twenties, I don't think there is, you know, like anything wrong with that. You know, if, if, if it's not taxing someone's health, you know, go out on like four dates a week, get drunk each night and then wake up the next morning and have breakfast, go day game again. That's what I used to do. But uh, at a certain moment, you have, you know, four drinks and, and the next day is just shit. And then you realize, oh shit, I have like, three or two drinks and the next day is kind of sometimes not not great and then uh, when that happens you really have to ask yourself okay like can i keep doing if i keep doing the same shit and you don't have to get drunk on dates i uh, there's again nothing wrong with it but i know a bunch of day gamers who just don't drink they they're just they're living sober they're not drinking at all and they're doing very good in day game like nothing wrong with that and then they just have you you have to kind of figure out how that would work with, with, for yourself, for, for the specific guy. Cause again, you know, like some guys do ice cream dates, others do regular dates, but they just get a non-alcoholic date and you have to make something that, that again works for you. And, and the dating community is not talking about it. There's a lot of, just as you said, there's a lot of bad advice and that advice, if, if you treat women, the way that the typical day game and especially like in the old school PUA world that if you apply that advice like it's not gonna lead it's gonna lead to a lay yeah like, you're gonna get laid but she's gonna go home and she's gonna be oh shit that was a mistake whereas you can get laid just as fast just as wild and she's gonna go home and think damn this guy finally there's finally a guy who helped me open up and i could you know have some fun because because uh, and, and she's gonna want to see you again and maybe for fun maybe for something more serious if that's what you're looking for and but okay so we talked about how you started as a natural uh, with some natural stuff then you added structured game and you fixed your style then you went again into the kind of natural re realm where you're developing your own style and and being this you know the guy of the lisbon <laughs> and uh, yeah and 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 uh, you did a lot to uh, just what you explained you did a lot to live a happier life like you really you went uh, all in with your with your health you you did a lot of work with with the with the fitness coach uh, that that we yeah that we worked with quite a bit, quite a bit a bunch of guys for work with him um, and, and that, you know, at the end kind of, yeah, like about, about the fitness coach, it's obviously key uh, to, to learn, you know, how to maximize your nutrition and your testosterone as a man and how to build muscle and lose fat. Um, a coach will help you a lot to quick start because, you know, you will become accountable. Uh, so you know it's it's really black and white. If if you're not doing the protocol, if you're not doing the reps, right? Um, but obviously, it it has to be. It has to start from you. You know, it just obviously the coach, as amazing it is, you know, it's not about hiring the coach that you get the results. You still need to do the reps yourself. You still need to to be accountable to cook the meals, uh, to stay in a calorie deficit, you know, to to organize your steps, your goes to the gym, um, and build your routine around that. Okay, there's no miracle. Just hiring the coach is not is not enough. Sometimes guys, you know, they think, well, I'm going to hire a coach, but are you really willing to to sacrifice your time to putting it as a priority in your life? To go to the gym even when you don't feel it you know um to cook to cook that chicken rather than going for the kebab you know there's there's going to be some kind of effort and discipline coming your way and also it's important to understand that um just because you have a nice physique doesn't mean you're healthy okay it there are two different things for instance right now i'm more into building muscle um, I don't want to be like just this 8% body fat skinny dude. No, because where I'm at, at my age, 
you know, I gain more for having actually a more muscular look. And guys have to understand that, you know, when we say things about SMV or why your style and fitness are important, it's because we're we're all humans, men and women, um, and and even the non-binary people. You know, we're still human, and they're still gonna react to uh, their hormones. Okay, and um, when a girl, when you stop a girl on the street, and you're in front of her, a lot of the things that gonna happen, and, and I know this is a bit wishy-washy, but it's a hormonal reaction. What what really is happening between those two bodies? It's, you know, does this woman, you know, in an hormonal level, you know, um, wants to have your genes, yes or no, and why, okay? Um, this is all that happened. It's happening at, at, at a biological level, right? And this is still the game. Obviously, then we break it down and we maximize, you know, the signals we're going to give, right? So if someone wants... <laughs> A, a breakdown theory here it is right that that's what game is it's it's about really maximizing your potential for for the genes you know being a, being so damn good that they become irresistible uh, you know to the other sex um so for that to happen you know your testosterone your health your masculinity you know obviously needs to be at a peak if if you really want to nail this, guys, okay, um, you know, at the end of the day, you have to become a natural. <laughs> no, it's it's not all that we're saying, obviously, but it is important to understand that when, and this goes back to to the whole start of game, right? What guys in one of their game model did was they were able to break down what an attractive dude you know, does and, and why does it, and then you become that dude, okay? At the end of the day, that's, that's what game is all about. So we, we've talked about the natural, the structure, then again, the natural, the looks. We, we talked about the location that you found your city, and you are definitely living a happy life, so you've covered all five pillars of the game. Let me ask you a question, since you've done so much outside of structured game. You know, let's say... Um, you did fix your looks, you did work on your natural game, and you you found your city, and you were living a happy life, but you would have skipped the part of learning structured game. How do you think, where, where, where do you think you would be right now in terms of your day game and dating skills if you've skipped structured game and did everything else? I think you still don't have a GPS. It's like navigating without a GPS because, um, you know, how can you qualify? You know, how can you understand that you didn't build attraction? Understand why you did build attraction here? You know, understanding that saying some things it's very non-attractive. But I suppose. It's like you're trying to hit the target, but your your eyes are closed. Okay, I think structured day game is like giving you the GPS, um, your coordinates to understand where you need to go. Yeah, this is why I was I was curious. What's your opinion about it? And I was kind of thinking, okay, I'm gonna risk it, and I'm gonna still ask it, even if he says, "No, fuck it, I'll still do great." Um, this is, uh, it's very interesting the type of people I oftentimes coach because I coach some people who in terms of SMV are just doing laps on me. You know, they have, you know, they're good looking, they're, they have shitload of money and <laughs> like fun lifestyle and, and they, they have everything, but then it still doesn't work. Like they still get the same problems uh, in dating life that, that any average guy is getting, that the reality is, you know, it's, it's still fucking hard. And then, then they add the structure on top of it. And then it's like, boom, oh my God, you know, sparks start to fly. If they keep doing the thing, of course, you know, if they just do it for a few days and then nothing else, then well, yeah. Uh, great. I think Pavlito, we've covered everything. 
We've also had some very interesting kind of parts of this conversation about kind of relationships and and th- con- conversations that I I don't know if you noticed, but I, I'm starting to have a lot of kind of conversations that are more kind of let's call it like ethical day game, <laughs> like things like that. I, I I I'm talking a lot about things like things like that, and and even though we didn't plan to think to talk about that, I I, I really like that we did because I think that is a very important part of of. Uh, that's a, that's one thing that's not covered uh, in in this kind of world of online dating advice, and you have a lot of toxic shit going around, like in the in the in the day game world. I'm not talking like old school PUAs. I'm talking classical day game. Mo- mo- most of big YouTube channels and everything. It's just a, a lot of that st- stuff is just very. You know, it might get you laid, but but it's you know it's 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 fucking up the world, I think, and and it's nothing healthy healthy for the women, and in the long term, I don't think it's a healthy attitude to have for the men as well, especially if they're thinking about getting a partner. Like if you keep doing the dumb shit, you learn uh, to get laid. Like it's just not gonna work. It's 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 too, it's a bit too toxic. Right. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, 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 and and it's again, it gets you laid. It gets you laid, but but. Like it just, it does. Like women that have experience, they see through it. Like they've seen all of the nonsense, and 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 so I, I like that people are starting to talk about more. Well, not a lot of people. Like people on my podcast that I talk, like I, I we spoke about this with 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 Mister Majestic, and we touched up, uh, on this a little bit with with Mister T, and now we're touching up, uh, this on you. So I think it's a great conversation to have, and. Anyways, Pablito, I'm gonna say thank you very much for for sharing your your story with guys, and uh, yeah, thank you, and uh, I hope to see you in the summer somewhere in Europe. Yes, you're very welcome. Uh, thanks Ciao. For me. And uh, yeah, if I have one word or two to say, um, guys, have fun, um, and um, don't forget, you know, that at the end of today, it is about having fun. And uh, it is, and enjoying. So, learning some some great things along the way, and I uh, hope that's that's been helpful. And uh, yeah, have fun. Thank you. Nice. Okay. Ciao, Paulito. Ciao. Well, that's it, guys. If you have any questions or you just want to chat with me or Pavlito, then you can do so in our private community. You'll find all the details about it and how to join by clicking the link in the description. And as I said, I'm already on my way back to Europe. So if you want to learn day game with me in Europe, then you'll find all the information about coaching again by clicking the link in the description.